Bringing together more than 700 experts in communication from all over Europe, that is the goal of the third edition of Europecom. Local, regional and European communication managers were invited to this networking event, hosted by the Committee of the Regions and supported by the European Parliament, the Commission, the Council and the Cyprus Presidency. This year's team is reconnecting citizens. Through networking sessions and workshops, people are invited to rethink the way Europe needs to communicate with its citizens, young and old, and to exchange views on how to regain the citizens' confidence for the European project. One of the tools that can help with that is a Eurobarometer, from which the latest version shows very diverse results on citizens' trust in a prosperous future. For the first time this Eurobarometer is a regional one, so we try not only to understand it on a national level, but also on a European and on the local level. Of course, all begins with understanding the public, something discussed in one of the afternoon workshops. Young people need us to talk about the future, whereas old people want us to talk about history. But Europe is talking above all about the euro, which is the present. So it talks neither to those who like to hear about history, nor to those who want to hear about the future. We need a communication approach, not focused exclusively on this important subject, certainly, but which cannot fulfill entirely the need to identify one and compete in Europe. One of the challenges for the EU is how to go local. Apparently some communication managers appear to be very creative in it. We are working on a simulation game on the EU. The main character is a European commissioner that faces a maritime catastrophe. Along the game, the encounters and strategies, he has to get a new law voted at the European Parliament. Once you know how to connect locally, the next challenge is how to get the message along, how to inform local communities on the fact that Europe is indeed working for them. In this context, Gerald Angley shared some tips and tricks on how the Irish government managed to inform their citizens on something as complex as the EU Stability Treaty. The old media, from, from our experience, is still dominant. Sending something in through people's doors, newspaper advertising such as we did, um, was still more effective than all the Facebook and the Twitter, etc. Simple language, but don't insult people's intelligence. Make use of popular media, tabloid press, people papers as they, as they describe them in, in France, free papers, local and regional radio, um, local champions, people that are respected locally. And I suppose less can be more, there is such a thing as too much information. After two days of brainstorming, networking, listening and debating, participants were invited to attend the Europecom's closing session. Some passionate high-level speakers shared some challenging ideas, translating two days of information in some very straightforward conclusion. If we are not creative and if we are not thinking out of the box, we, I can assure you, we will never ever solve the problem. Food for thought to prepare for another edition of Europecom next year.